great to meet you and to be talking to you about this fabulous film. Serena, good to be here. Nice to meet you too, Serena. Thank um, you so Matt, I've heard a lot of the cast and even um, uh, the director say, you know, when they were first approached about this film and uh, as a theatre production, they were just going, nah, I don't know about this. What were your initial thoughts? And then when was the moment you went, I mean... I really sadly didn't know a lot about the piece going into it. Uh, and it wasn't until we we did a few readings of the material and I really got to familiarize myself with the time period and everything that was going on uh, for the men in this piece in terms of what they were dealing with in society. Once I understood those elements and what was at play, the, the play began to make a lot more sense to me. And I thought, oh, I, I understand why this is important and why a piece about the cost of oppression is important today. It's important for so many reasons and there's so many different things going on. And Robin, there's a quote that I've read you say, and it's heartbreaking. Um, this is a period piece obviously set in 1968. And you've said, um, for years I'd been told that I didn't belong in certain period pieces as if to say my ancestors and I don't exist. So what is it like when you get to exist in this and go, hey, we're here? I mean, it's thrilling. It's, it's you know, when I first became aware of the play and the fact that we were going to do it, what I was first so grateful for was to be in a position where I got to play a role that was layered, that was multifaceted, that, that you know, it was, it was a parfait that was better than any parfait I've ever had and had more layers than any other parfait I've had, you know? So it was stimulating and exciting but also coming from people who were in the States in the 1950s and 60s and knowing that we did exist, but never seeing that visual in, in, in most other mediums, it, it not only made me proud, it not only helped me to remove my ego and focus on my craft in order to honor those ancestors, it also you know, enabled us and the audience to have more nuanced conversations because my relationship, my dynamic with Michael Benjamin Washington's character as a black man is actually even more interesting now with another light-skinned person of color. Yeah. Um, Tuck, Tuck, I've heard you say that um, this for you was a really significant experience because for the first time ever, it was an all-out gay cast, a gay director, a gay producer. Why did that have such an impact? Well, you know, it felt like our, our producer, Ryan Murphy, in, invited now nine out gay, proud actors to join sort of a gay justice league. And he handed each of us a cape and Joe Mantello taught us our superpowers. And mm -hmm. we went out there each night and told the story of what it was like to be gay 50 years ago. And um, to be able to tell that story now 50 years later with perspective was really empowering. Oh my God, I never thought of it in that way. And now I look at the film completely different. Thanks for that. Um, but do you know what? I think when a piece connects with you because you felt the emotions that some characters are going through, maybe not your character per se, but some characters in the cast, I think that's got to be hard to be performing that time and time again. Matt, how was that for you every single night? Well, um, one of the things I love about Donald is he is an observer and there's a point in the evening when certain shots are fired where he's going to uh, recede into the background a little bit and just stay out of the line of fire. Um, but he also, I think, has done enough work on himself to have a sense of compassion for a lot of what's going on in the room. Uh, so I think the challenge for any actor in any medium, whether it's stage or take to take on film, is making sure you're hearing it for the first time when the camera's on you or when that particular audience is in front of you and not trying to pre-plan what that response will be or, or have it overly mapped out. Robin, what was the last time like? Because, you know, you did about 80 odd shows, then you went, but that's okay, we're coming back for the film. And then you've gone, that's okay, we're coming back for the junket. But I hate to break this to you. This is probably the end of the boys in the band. How does that feel? Ooh, ooh, proud. I feel very proud of what we've done. And I know that the work that we did is really important, that it really matters. And I'm just happy that it gets to be preserved forever for, for, for people to get to see nine gay dudes playing nine gay dudes. Yeah. <laughs> like that's, that's really, really cool. And, and, and on, on the last day of the play, 
And the last day of shooting, I definitely had a release because we were vibrating at such a high frequency together and that's so powerful. Uh, but we were also living in a state of, of, um, of sadness and melancholy by the end. And, and so like, it's a privilege to be at a point in our lives where we as gay men can let that stuff go. And I, I'm happy to do that. So <laughs> goodbye boys in the band. <laughs> 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 well, so what was it like in this industry? Because for so long, I'm sure when you started, were you able to be the complete you? Did you have people saying to you, mm, do you want to keep your sexuality hidden? It may impact uh, your career, which really saddens me. It, it, I had a lot of fear about um, being openly gay in an industry that I saw being homophobic all around me and historically had been very homophobic. Um, it's really remarkable that we are able now to do projects, whether they're gay themed or not, and feel a little more comfortable about being emboldened to tell people who we really are. Yeah. And Matt, for anyone who's listening to this right now going, I'm not feeling comfortable um, and I don't want to tell anybody about who I am, whether it be sexuality or anything else, what do you have to say to that person now? And young or old, because what saddens me is that it's not just young people. There's some people who live their whole lives not being able to be the person they really want to be. I just know that I look to the horizon right now and I'm so hopeful and, and, and so I feel so positive about where we are in our community and where we're going in our community. Uh, so uh, that is obviously a very personal decision for, for people and a lot of the factors that go into it are things that I have no idea about with different people with in terms of family dynamics and things like that. So I think obviously it's important to have a great uh, group around you to support you through it but for anybody who's questioning it just in terms of society I'm so hopeful and positive about where we are and, and in our industry as well about where we're headed so my fingers crossed um guys I could talk to you forever but I I, I can't hog you so I need to let you move on <laughs> thank you for this thank you for putting yourselves out there on the line as well and for entertaining and also having me sobbing like a baby oh thank you so much Good for you. Awesome.